evening from a sunny Lincolnshire wheat field. Um, we're approaching the T2 fungicide timing. The crop I'm currently standing in is around growth stage 37. Um, so sometime within the next 10 to 14 days we'll be at growth stage 39 uh, and looking to apply the T2 fungicide. Um, some crops this year have been affected badly by the, the spring we've had, very wet spring has certainly compromised nitrogen timings and as we know from the yield enhancement network biomass is, is critical um, and that has been compromised in a number of crops. Uh, obviously we cannot affect that now, um, it's gone. Uh, however, two things we can have an effect on which are also critical are grain set and we need to uh, ensure that is as, as complete as possible and the other thing is allowing these crops to maintain green leaf uh, for as long a period as time. Green leaf, um, fairly straightforward to, to deal with. Um, applications of magnesium, critical, at both T2 and T3 to prolong that green, green in towards harvest. Um, and again, easily done, a couple of litres of, uh, of magnesium uh, in the form of Yara Vita Mag Flow 300. Um, and the other thing is grain set. Now the key nutrient there is boron. Um, which is important for fertilization and pollination and subsequent grain set. Interestingly, so far this, this season, uh, in the East Midlands in particular, um, we are seeing uh, eight in every 10 wheat tissue samples come back very low in boron. Um, and it's something that's very easily corrected. Half a litre of Bortrac, there's a label recommendation for it. Um, so we need to pay attention to that in with our T2 fungicides. So two key things, magnesium and boron, um, let's have an effect on the things we can still control uh, as we go into a critical period of grain set and then grain fill heading towards harvest.